Hi and welcome to this video. This is Machine Dana and I'm going to be showing you how on Cloudbot from Streamlabs Online you can set up polls for your stream. This is agnostic to the stream that you actually uh, stream on. For example, YouTube Gaming, Facebook Gaming and uh, obviously Twitch. So you can do it on any. Uh, you don't even need to be using Streamlabs OBS uh, software to be able to enable this. This is purely a cloud-based polling system that you can integrate into your stream. Uh, obviously, if you're already using Streamlabs online and CloudBot, it's a lot easier to enable this to happen. But even if you're not, it's really, really easy to enable. And in this video, I'll show you how to set up the polls, uh, change all the variables, and of course, add CloudBot briefly as well. If you find this useful, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. It does help other people to find this video as well. Uh, and also, if you wanna see more tips or tricks or hints or tutorials and all sorts of stuff, to do with uh, streaming, I do do a hell of a lot of streaming tutorials, so feel free to hit the subscribe button. Finally, I stream daily at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana. So if you do want to see these in action, by all means, jump by and, and drop a little follow. Take a little look. Without further ado, let's get into it. So first of all, you're going to need to ensure that CloudBot and Streamlabs Online are linked to your streaming platform uh, and particularly your profile. Uh, so it doesn't really matter whether you're in Twitch here or YouTube gaming or Facebook gaming. What you need to do is navigate separately to streamlabs.com. Uh, you can log in using your stream credentials. So it can use your Twitch uh, login credentials, for example. That will then link uh, Streamlabs online to your profile uh, once you've authorized it. And then secondly, what you need to do is navigate to CloudBot. Go to the CloudBot uh, header here and toggle this on. That will toggle the CloudBot on for your profile, but it won't work until you've forward slash modded Streamlabs in your chat. Once you've done all those things, you are in a position to be able to enable CloudBot and all the various different modules and commands. I've done a load of videos on the different modules available through CloudBot, and so far they've been really well received. So feel free to take a little browse, and I think at the end of this video, there'll be a, a playlist on the end card. So just to add polls, it's very, very simple and straightforward. You, you click to the polls function here. There are two settings and I'll go into both here. You can add polls, remove polls, manage the polls here uh, at this section. You can set multiple poll profiles, including um, ones that you can basically regurgitate, uh, cancel, edit, and that sort of thing. You simply click on profiles to add a poll, click add poll here. Then there are some general settings and some more advanced settings that to go into. Uh, the, first of all, you can give your poll a title, for example, uh, who will win the Premier League uh, in 2020 20 to 2021. 20, I'm a Liverpool fan, so I think it's going to be Liverpool that will win it, but we will also put some options here as well. So we'll put Liverpool FC type command. Uh, you can either here put vote one, or you can put a vote, a more specific one like Liv Liverpool. Um, and then you could just have vote two, vote three, vote four to keep it simple. Uh, but I like to do custom ones. So exclamation vote space and then live. And then you can add another option. Man City is probably an option, I would say. So we're giving the name of the option here and then the command uh, MC FC. We'll add that. And then we can do some more unreasonable options like uh, Manchester United. <laughs> Uh, Man U, there's absolutely no chance they're going to win it. So uh, we'll put that option in there as a wild card. So now the users will have to type exclamation point space and then exclamation point Liverpool to vote on those. Exclamation point vote space, exclamation point MUFC. Uh, and some people might even choose Man United. That'd be crazy if they did. In fact, let's just delete it. There's absolutely no chance Man United are going to win the league. Uh, so there you go. Uh, we've got the poll options here. All we've done is set the title and the options. In advance now, so there are a number of different options here that you've got. First of all, you can use a timer uh, for the poll or you can choose to manually manage the poll yourself. Using a timer just means you set a duration here in seconds. This is a value in seconds for how long the poll will run for. For example, if I want it to run for uh, 300 seconds, it would be five minutes. Uh, and then you can add, you can choose for the viewers to be notified when their vote has actually been registered by toggling this thing on as well. You can leave the timer off if you want to just manually turn the poll on and off, and that's easy enough to do. And once you've got the poll set there, uh, again, you can bin the poll, you can edit it further, or you can start the poll, or you can even add new polls. If I now start the poll here, I'm just going to go into my chat uh, just to see what this looks like. I'll press start poll. 
And we'll see here, a poll has opened for who will win the Premier League. I can now register my vote to say, exclamation point, uh, what was it, exclamation point, vote, space, vote Liverpool. And then the bot will say, Machine Dana has voted on Liverpool. I've now, I now can see that the vote has come, come into the voting options here. You'll see these vote bars move up and down depending on which one is winning. Uh, you can choose to close the poll by clicking this button here, or you can just let it run for the duration of its timer. Obviously, if you've not set a timer on it, you will need to actively close the poll. So I'll just close the poll. And then there's a message here, you can no longer vote on the poll. So that's the poll, and we can actually show on screen this to the users to show them what the votes were, how many were voted, and, and the time that was left on the poll, and that sort of thing. That's the basics of setting up a poll and how you manage it. Now we're just going to some settings here. Here's where you actually just define, just define the messages that returned and some more general information about your polls. And these are more like global settings for your polls as well. So first of all, in this section here, using repeat messages, when this is toggled on, it will just use a repeat message that, that tells the users in chat and reminds them about the poll that is going on. The message here as standard is a poll is going on for, and that's a variable for the, the title of the poll, then using, and then that's a variable for the commands and then the options for the poll. Uh, you can edit this though. For example, happy voting with an exclamation mark. So you are able to edit these, uh, these the variables and also the base text. You may want to also put, for example, a, I don't know, um, an emote in there and that sort of thing. And what you do with this chat lines here, this just says, the repeating message that are turned on with that custom message, how frequently uh, the repeater message will uh, arrive essentially. So you may you may not want it so it's, it's continually repeating the message. You've got to be careful here not to set it too low because if you set it too low, the message will just be continually spamming chat. If you've got a very busy chat, you might want to consider having it kind of quite a lot further up there. Uh, some probably somewhere around 20 to 50 for most people is going to be absolutely fine then we've got the messages so this is an open message which is which we saw here uh, which is the poll being opened so a poll is open for and then it uses the variables to tell people about what that what that poll is and also how to vote close message you can no longer vote on this poll unlucky uh, so you can customize these uh, then cancel message, the poll has been cancelled. Just in case you actually end up cancelling a poll, there's a cancel message here. Finally, you've got a win and a tie message. Um, so this is a, was the most voted on option on the poll, and then the amount of percentage of the votes, and that just shows that. And the same for tied here. If I click save settings on that, it just adds a little bit more customization, a little bit more kind of scope for, for function uh, within the, the polling there. The final thing you can actually do here is go into the commands option and look at the default commands. If I just do a control F for polling, it just means that you can actually define what that what that exclamation point is to register the vote. And to edit that, I can simply go in there and give it another name. Uh, and then, yeah, the response option that comes when they do vote. Uh, so for example here, at username voted on whatever the option was. Thanks for participating. I think that's how you spell it. Um, and then second, they want to go into advanced. It could be, for instance, uh, we could have one uh, which is like cast vote or something like that. We can add an alias. It just means that cast vote will also work uh, alongside vote um, in case some people want to, to use that instead. And that's that. You're able to just update the default command for that as well. You can also play around with the variables here for just do a control F on poll. The number here... Uh, um, of kind of variable options. You can pull these in or out of the messages that you can customize. The final thing you can do is click on complete to complete the poll. And what that will do is in chat, it will just actually display the results of the poll here. So Liverpool was the most voted option on the poll with 100% of the votes. And therefore Liverpool will win the Premier League in 2021. <laughs> Hopefully you found this video really, really useful. If you have, please let me know in the comments below how you intend on using this. You can get really, really play playful. Please support the video by giving thumbs up and feel free to subscribe. And also feel free to jump over to my Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana. I hope you guys are having a good day. Take it easy. Cheerio.